we're going to look at uh, distributive property. Um, we're going to work with special products, but there's really nothing special about them as long as you remember the original distributive property. So you remember something called FOIL? Did they talk about FOIL with you guys? I heard about it. But you heard about it? it? Okay, so let, let's talk about FOIL. Um, even before we get into this, I'm going to make a third example. So example three is where we're going to start. I'll, I'll move it down here. So third example, we'll make a question up. Say so you have 2x plus 3, 4x minus 1. Okay? Um, FOIL is an acronym to remember what order to multiply things. Sometimes they call it like the rainbow method or something like that. But what FOIL means, uh, F stands for the first term. And the first term in each of these would be the first in this bracket times the first in this bracket. The O stands for the outside terms. Outside term would be farthest to the left and farthest to the right. The inside. Inside terms are closest to the right, closest to the left. And then L would be the last terms. So the last term in each bracket, 3 times negative 1. So it's just an order in order to um, show you how to multiply things. <coughs> Another way you can look at it is you take the first term in the first bracket and multiply it by both. And then you take the second term in the first bracket and multiply it by both. And that actually follows this exact order of four. That's the idea. Okay? So I'm going to quickly do that. 2x times 4x, that gives us 8x squared. Okay? I'll try to do them by color. Um, outside terms. 2x times negative 1 gives me negative 2x. Inside term, 3 times 4x is positive 12x. And then the last terms, positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So i got a whole bunch of lovely colors here. I'm going to write it all in black so it looks a little, a little easier for us to look at. Do you see any like terms at all? Uh, negative 2x, 12x. Yeah, that's it. Those are the only two like terms. The other ones have different variables or no variables, so we can't do anything. We can combine the two in the middle. Do you know what they will become? Um, negative Sorry, 10x. Yeah, so we get positive 10x minus 3, and that's it. That's as far as it goes, and this is considered like taking something from factored form to standard form, or they'll call it expanding and simplifying the ideas. Okay, so now we've gone over the basic idea, special cases. The only thing that's special is there's something neat about them. So for instance, this one's squared. So what it's saying is you have 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. Just like any exponent, if we had 5 to the power of 2, all it really means is the base times the base, 5 times 5. So we do the bracket times the bracket. And then we just FOIL again. So 3x times 3x. And, mm -hmm. and they'll tell you this neat little thing where you can square this and square this and then multiply the two together times 2 and that'll be the middle term. But that's something you kind of have to memorize. And as, as long as you know how to FOIL, you're going to get there anyway. So maybe just work on it by FOILing. So 3x times 3x, what does that give us? 6x. Ah. Sorry, times um, yeah. 9. There you yeah. go. 9x squared. Uh, 3x times positive 2. Sorry, 6x. That's right. And then 2 times positive 3x. 6x, 6x again. again. Yeah. And then 2 times 2. 4. 9. Four. Is it? Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, now, wow. I didn't underline anything, so we'll do that more in the other one. I'll see if we can mentally do it. And then, again, the, the only two are the two in the middle. So 6 and 6 gives us 12x plus 4. So I did that quickly. Let's, let's go through the process again for the third one. The third one creates a situation when you have the same two terms, but one's a positive, one's a negative. Something neat ends up happening at the end when we'll talk about it. So FOIL, first terms, 4x times 4x. What is that going to give us? 16x squared. There you go. Okay. Um, F O. O is outside terms. 4x times 3. What's that going to give us? That's right. I didn't remember this. That's okay. <laughs> Negative 3 times 4x. Negative 12x. Negative 12x. And then the last terms are negative 3 times positive 3. Negative 9. That's it. Negative 9. Okay. Uh, we're right in black again, so it looks a little more uniform. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> okay. What do we say? What are the two terms that are usually the like terms? Uh, uh, two in the middle, right? Yeah. And that's what happens. It's the case again. 
what is positive 12x and negative 12x? Zero. Yeah, so this is what they mean by it's a special case. These things created zero, so all we're left with is 16x squared minus a 9. But as long as you can expand and simplify, you don't have to memorize the beginning of these. Sometimes they'll tell you to memorize this, and that means, oh, all that'll be left is this times this, and this times this, and there is no middle. But as long as we can FOIL and expand and simplify, we can discover that on our own each time. And then after practicing it a lot, you'll just kind of start to recognize that stuff instead of memorizing special cases. Okay. Um, 